Yo, 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 This your boy, Luce. I got my boy, DZ. We are the Advised Wise Guys. Check out the full podcast. Link below. We're going to kick off the show by talking about can drill stand the test of time? You know, obviously drill music is not new. We've seen Chief Keith and company, you know, come up in the whole Chicago scene in the early 2010s, dominate that wave, inspire a whole world, if you will. At this point, I can I can genuinely say that, you know, with the expansion of drill in Europe and in and, and various places in the U.S. But we've seen a new side of drill recently with uh, with the Bronx wave. Right. And how they've influenced and introduced um, samples to the to the landscape. Even though Fabio Foreign is not from the Bronx, I know he's from Brooklyn, if I'm not mistaken. He seemingly is the guy, right, in this country as far as how people are looking at drill commercially and internationally. So Q, I know this is something that you you feel some type of way about. You know, is drill a sound that you feel can last? Right now, Fabio is holding it down. Um, and I think Fabio, he's showing that drill can go to another level. It can shift to another gear. And that's what I love about Fabio. He's putting people in positions to succeed on drill songs. Like, you know, the song that he has with Coyle Ray and, um, Coyle Ray and uh, Chloe, right? Chloe and Chloe is doing pretty good. thought it was Queen Naja on that record. Oh, is it Queen Naja? Okay, Queen Naja. He put Queen Naja and, and Coyle Ray in positions to succeed. Um, and then he linked up with the kid Leroy. So like he's doing it to where, you know, he's, he's making it more of a universal sound. That's, that's one thing I like about Fabio Foreign a lot. Pop artists are starting to use the sound. R&B artists are starting to use the how hip hop artists are starting to use the sound. There's something about the beats. There's an element in the beats that I think actually has longevity. Like, you know how trap. There's elements of trap that has longevity. There's elements of trap that you hear on commercials. Trap is never going to go away. You're always going to hear elements of it, you know, from time to time. Trap has now transformed uh, into several different variations. Acid trap. I've seen country trap. There's a certain element in the genre that people like and people are using. And I think there's a certain element in drill that definitely works. Now, at the same time, I do not want to fall prisoner of the moment because, you know, reggae music was big at one point. Afro pop music is big. They kind of push sort of that sound. I mean, there's still like those Fireboy DMLs that are linking up with these other pop artists. I get that. But for the most part, Afro pop, the wave has gone down a little bit in, in the U.S. So I don't want to get ahead of myself. But I do think drill has elements. That makes it something that can be here for a long ass time. Am I going to put my house on it? No. But I am definitely confident. And and you're going to see it. Now, the question is, will it be completely infiltrated is the question. Like, will there be a Justin Bieber like pop artist that, you know, drops a bunch of songs that have drill in it and people start tying it to a certain person? Because I'm not exactly sure. Drill is tied to Fabio Foreign. I'm not sure. I, I know he does it a lot. It was tied to Pop Smoke at the time, but I since then a lot of people have, have touched it. Will it be tied to a certain person and then it skyrockets from there? Is the question. And if a pop artist gets their hand on it and blows up from there, oh man, who knows? All in all, drills. I guess Drill's potential is endless to me. It's endless to me. And I like it. I like it. Mm. I like the Bronx Drill, whatever so, you call it, where they, they start mixing like Bruno Mars songs. <laughs> What's right, that I joint? Mean, the joint, uh, to the moon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That, 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 that just yeah, sounds so tight. Singles, yeah. It sounds so, so tight. You know what's interesting, man? You know, I, we've had this combo before. Like weeks ago, you're you're saying a lot of the same thing, so I kind of already knew where you were going to stand on this. To me, I don't think so. I don't know if drill 
at least what we've heard of drill so far, I don't think that that is the type of sound that's going to last. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe in the the sample driven uh, wave that's happening in the Bronx uh, Bronx drill wave, and the reason I'm saying that is because that's, from my understanding through my research, that is where the introduction of the sampling started happening. I'm talking about the the B loves the K flocks the the P, the the new wave of drill coming out of the Bronx. And you're right, the guy named whatever his name is, but the to the moon guy, he's from the UK. What's interesting about drill is that. That bicoastal marriage. Mm. I do think that if if there's anything that is going to help mm. drill maintain, it's the fact that you know typically when you have a sound, especially when hip hop has a major sound, it's regional, then it becomes national, but it's never really respected internationally like mm. drill has. Mm. That is the one thing that maybe if I'm going to make your argument more stronger, it's the fact that. This is a sound that's more internationally driven where it's undeniable. When you got the England, UK, there's a Central C. If you guys know who Central C is, he's a dude that's getting a lot of play in the US and he's from London. He's a part of that drill wave. And and because it's so closely tied with New York drill, right? Specifically Bronx drill, which is having a moment right now. You have the people out in London and England shining in the US. So I do think that bodes well for drill. Personally, the only way that I think that drill is going to continue to make make its way is if they keep evolving the sound. Unfortunately, what happens a lot of times when 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 these type of sounds get more popping universally, they have to get watered down. Because who wants anything watered down? Listen, anything that's watered down typically is not good. But unfortunately, if you want a sound to grow internationally, start to get blended with different sounds, whether it's the pop artists, you know, the Kid Leroy's who's who's kind of adjacent to rap, you know, it's going to have to take a turn sound wise, you know, mixed with other genres. So that to me is the way that drill will stay alive. We'll see if that happens, though. I mean, the question is, do you like drill? Like, I mean, I think we all talk about drill, you know glowingly we're like you know we like this song or we like that song when i okay. first started listening to drill i thought all the beats sounded the same but then when different variations of drill started to come out when i started to listen to drill more and more other artists started to toy with it then i was like okay all right i see i see it's a pill is it is a sound that you think has a, a, a sustainability for the long term you know what i mean you're talking to somebody right now who I don't uh, drill is not my favorite sound. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's not my favorite sound. Do I like drill records? Of course. There's a bunch of joints that I like. There's a ton of drill artists that I like as well. But I would be lying to you if if I didn't tell you that a lot of these drill rappers sound the same over these beats. It's very difficult to distinguish in a one artist from the next. Let's be real. I don't care how long you've been listening to drill. The ones who decide to or figure out how to like cut through and do something different over these drill beats typically are the ones who win and who shine the most. You know what I'm saying? I'll give you a little example right now. There's a girl who's blowing up right now. Uh, her name is Ice Spice out of, uh, I think she's from the Bronx, if I'm not mistaken. Viral song that she that, that is called Munch. I think that, number one, you don't see a lot of women in drill that are killing it. So I think she automatically stands out because she is somebody who's she's adding her own flavor to a to a sound that is heavily dominated by men. There has to be somebody who does something different to stand out. I think that's kind of where we are with Joe, in my opinion. And that's where I think Fabio Foreign, I give him some credit because he is starting to do some things like that song with him and uh, the Kid Leroy. I thought it was actually pretty unique. Like hearing the kid Leroy like over that drill beat, that was where I actually had the question to myself after hearing that song. It's enjoyable to listen to, but I also think it pushes drill forward. You know, at the end of the day, is the sound good? But like, I didn't always love every hip hop sound. Like personally, I don't love the Detroit sound. You know, I I don't love it. I think it's Me good. Neither. And I, I, I think when some people do it the right way, it's dope. Like T Grizzly. I don't love that sound. You know? I don't love it either. <laughs> I don't love that. You know, when they do the LA. I know. Exactly. Like, 
You know what's funny? You know what's I'm funny? Trollics, you bring it trumping sound. I don't bro, love that sound. I see a lot of connections between the Detroit sound and, and LA? the LA sound. Yeah. yeah. And when I say LA, I mean yeah. like the Bay. Yeah. Sometimes I see the appeal, but that's not something I personally gravitate to. But you know how this goes, man. It's one thing for you to like something, and it's another thing for the world to like it. Exactly. Listen to the full episode. Link below.